Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about Bergmansia um, or Angel's Trumpet. Angel's Trumpet is a beautiful tropical plant that can be grown in a temperate climate and with a little bit of care and cultural tips you'll be able to grow one and bloom one that's nice and big and beautiful just like this. They're wonderful plants, they bloom all summer long and they have a wonderful smell from about 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. every night. So the first thing you need to know about them is they take plenty of light. You want to plant them in full sun. Um, this one is in a pot, but they also do well in the ground. Even in a temperate climate, but it means you're going to be digging it out of the ground in the fall. As for water, you never want the soil to dry out. I use um, probably eight of these jugs of water every day. It's handy for me because I have the pond right here, so I just scoop it from the pond in. And the ones that are growing in the yard, they have an irrigation system. But the key is there, you don't ever want it to dry out. And the other thing you're going to want to do with a balanced fertilizer is give it lots of fertilizer about twice a month. I just um, sprinkle a handful over the soil and then give it a good watering. And I do that, as I say, two times a month and that's really going to promote healthy blooms. This plant here has got more blooms on than we can count and right now it's about 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and it just smells amazing. The other thing with these plants is being they are tropical, they're going to want uh, 50 degrees in the nighttime low, or 10 Celsius. When it starts to get cooler than that, they're definitely going to start to slow down. You don't want them out anywhere near them when, it's gonna, when there's going to be any frost on the ground. Um, once it starts getting cooler at night, then we're going to want to bring them into the house what I do is the ones that are in the ground I'm going to dig up and this one that's in the pot I'm going to drag in. Um, I have kept them in the greenhouse in the past but last year I just kept them in the garage. There's a few little windows, not much light. It's an unheated garage but it never drops below probably five degrees and they just go dormant. You keep the soil just slightly moist and they're just going to rest until spring. All the leaves will drop off or you can cut the leaves off if you don't want to save the mess. And as soon as springtime comes, pull them back out and it'll start the whole cycle again. So I'll show you an up close of the flower here. Beautiful big flowers. You can see from the size of my hand how big it is. And they just smell amazing. The trouble with these flowers is they only last for a few days and then they are hopefully going to be replaced with new flowers again. So it's sort of an ongoing cycle. They have about two days of looking pristine like this and then they start to fade and within about three days it's going to look like this. Anyways guys, that is some tips for growing Bergmansia. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.